The ocean, a place of true mystery and adventure, a place so endlessly expansive that even though it covers 70% of the place we call home, we seldom know its depths. Many great men and women have had their battles against Mother Nature and their legacy born into this world while sailing its seas and diving into its depths. From Shackleton's battle of survival against overwhelming odds to Sylvia Earle's untethered walk on the ocean floor 361 meters from the surface to the Polynesian wayfinders navigating the Pacific Ocean 3,000 years ago. Every individual that has danced with the currents of the ocean contains a nature that humans seldom hold, an unbreakable desire to explore the unknown, a steely nerve in the face of ever-present danger, an unrelenting determination to overcome all odds, to take head on whatever the ocean has to throw at them, just for a glimpse of the unknown. But these individuals have one thing, one thing above all, and that thing is courage. Who the fuck in the right mind plays this game for fun? And so the journey continues. If we wanted to get ourselves through this game and explore the ocean, we knew we were going to need the Seamoth. But before we get started, it was really important to put the right foot forward and start with a little bit of positivity. You'd have to be an actual nutter to enjoy this game. A real can-do attitude. Oh, piss off. Oh, God. And, of course, an optimistic outlook on the day ahead. It's the noises. I hate everything about it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. We started to push the boat out, travel a little bit further, and see if we can get our hands on some of these seamoth fragments. Why is it so dark? What's the time? No, I'm not, I'm not doing this in the dark. I'm not doing this in the dark. I'm not doing this in the dark. No, when the sun's setting, go home. I can't do <laughs> Oh, no, I can't do this in the dark. This is such a fucking stupid game. Who the hell would even want to make a game like this and they put it underwater with all the monsters? Who the hell? You know what? It, people who do this shit in real life is scuba dive must have to be clinically wrong to, to enjoy it. This is, this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. I can't. Oh, that looks... Oh! Nah! Nice! This... Ow! Nah! Nah, 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 that's... Have I been here before? Because that's really fucking bad. Once I'd pulled my bollocks out of my stomach, we managed to go further down and we found a wreck to explore. We were hoping we could find some sea moth fragments. Is that the Leviathans? Oh, actual fucking do one, man. Oh, oh, it's so big. It's so big. What the fuck's that? I hate this. Ah. Oh, shit. How about our oxygen? Come on, I need a fragment. Seamoth fragment, please. Any Seamoth fragments? Ooh. I'm not okay. Oh. Oh. Is that a Seamoth fragment? No. Oh. No. Ah. Which way? Which way did I come from? This way. Ah. They say doing the same thing over and over again and expecting Ugh. different results is the definition of insanity. Well, my mum would call it stubbornness. So, I brute forced my way back towards the wreckage and eventually we managed to find a fragment. Is this one? Are you a Seamoth? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I really, I fucking don't like that one bit. Gaining confidence from finding the first fragment, we managed to find the remaining two. But once we found them, we'd soon encountered a problem. Mobile be it. Wait a minute, do we need that in order to build the 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 seam off? Yes, we do. But before we could even start looking for the fragments, we had an urgent broadcast come through on the radio. Fuck off. Hold up, radio. 
approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you what? during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. The sunbeam. Sunbeam? Who? Oh. Wait, so the sunbeam, whatever the fuck that is, is landing there and... Is that timer gonna stay there the whole time? I hope so. Right, shit. Does that make- wait. We have to try and build the Seamoth in under 39 minutes. Okay, just west of Life of Serpentine. And so the race was on. I could think of nothing worse than having to travel a kilometer to the Sunbeam landing zone with only the Sea Glider. We needed the vehicle bay fragments and we needed them fast. I'm gonna be brave. I, I, I need to, if I'm gonna do this with under 39 minutes, I, I can't afford to wait. In our frantic searches, we found a wreckage and even though darkness had descended, we knew we didn't have the time to spare. We needed these fragments. I'm in. Is it in here? Yeah, yeah, how many do I need? Shit, wrong button. Fuck. <laughs> One of three. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, look. Oh. Where the hell are we? I'm gonna run out of oxygen in here. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. I'm gonna run out of oxygen in here. Quick, quick. Oh. oh. How do we get out? How do we... this was this wasn't the way? Oh no. Is it? Oh no! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! How do we get out? How do I? No! Not like this! Not like this! No! No! Which way? No! Can I not breathe those in? No! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! I'm actually gonna die! When did I last save the game? No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. No! Is this... Come on. No! Sometimes life has a funny way of working things out. After our tragic death, we began our journey back to the wreckage, only to find a smaller one just outside the base. Oh! We found it! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! No, 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 no! Get me home, get me home. Oh, wait, what resources do I need to build this? Well, a titanium ingot, a drop of lube, and a power cell, it turned out. And thus, the vehicle bay was born. Oh, it goes on top. What? The... Wait. Is this a vehicle? Oh, I see. Okay, we need titanium and, and glass. Yes! Holy sh... Is that... That's mine! I made... Oh, I made this. Oh. Look at it, it... So, welcome aboard, Captain. I am totally okay with being called Captain. Oh, I get oxygen. Oh, it's quite fast as well. 
Oh, I like this. Not only did we gain a Seamoth, we gained a newfound bravery that I had yet to experience. Using this bravery, we headed back to the wreckage we perished at to see if we had missed any juicy loot. That's good, so instead of swimming to the surface, I don't really need to, I can... Oh, let me get this out though, because... Oh! Um, instead of swimming to the surface, I can just go to the Seamoth. Oh! We need that. We don't have a fragment, I don't think. One of three. Okay, bet. Okay, maybe there's another two in here. So I've come up. Oh, is that it? No. Wait, there's no, there's so much more. Wait, wait. While I'm here, let me. Oh, good. I don't see you like yeah, there's like nothing behind me. I'm not gonna question how he gets in without letting the water in. We'll just skip over that. Okay, we don't want to hang about too long. Just looking for... Oh, tree Charger Fragment. That will do very, very nicely. Okay. Mobile, we've already got that. Yep. Oh, go on. Oh, yes. Look, laser cutter. Oh, so many good noises. Acquired. Uh, what's that? Propulsion can. <laughs> oh, did we get that? Repair tool. Do I have enough oxygen? No, I don't. Go back. Oh, no, not, not again. No, yeah, go this way. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck the calories. I need oxygen. And then, and then where? I don't want to die again. 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 Don't want to die again. Wait, did I just come this way? I'm gonna, I'm gonna die again. I am. Um, I'm gonna die again. I'm so disorientated, man. I don't even know where. It was at this point we discovered something that would be of immense, immense pain to us. Oh, my fucking sea moss all the way over there! After making the treacherous journey back without the peeper power of the sea moth. I hope you like what I did there, by the way. Peeper power, you know, instead of horsepower. Ugh, I don't know. I kind of liked it. I thought it sounded cool. But anyway, we decided to leave the death pit of a wreckage alone and head back home. On the way back, we did manage to find the last fragment for the laser cutter before coming up with our next plan, the sunbeam. Ah, oh, fuck, right. We have 10 minutes to get to the, the site. And apparently the um, the mountain biome is, is the best place for diamonds. And they say the safest, but... I don't know where that is. I don't know how to repair this thing. But, oh, we're gonna head towards... Here we go. No. 900 meters to go. I've not been this direction either. I have no idea. No idea. Strap yourselves in, troops, because this was shit. Oh! Oh, it's deep. Oh, fuck this. Oh. Oh. Okay, no, that's not the... Okay. I think I'm gonna... Oh. What the fuck is that? No. Some okay, okay, we're gonna stay above the water. Just, just here, just here, and we're not gonna look down. Oh, oh my God! Is this it? Oh, this is it. Put me on shore. 
Put me on shore, put me on put me on shore, put me on shore. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Oh. Oh. Huh? oh. What the fuck is that? Okay. I'm not okay with how deep it is here. What the fuck? Wait, is this the mountain biome? Are these diamonds? I don't want to go close to that hitch. Just get the fuck off my sea moth. With only five minutes till the sunbeam was due to land, we decided to have a look around. Oh. Ah! Up at, oh, okay, no, wait. We'll explore that after because we only have three minutes till the thing arrives. And then we keep... This looks like some sort of creature. Oh, this is all kinds of weird. This is so weird. Kind of looks um, like a tower, like a skyscraper kind of thing. I don't want to know how deep it is. That oh, that's not go that way. I want to know how deep it is here. The time had finally come. The Sundance was landing, and we were going home. Thirty seconds and counting. Oh, what the fuck? Is that the sunbeam? This is like a massive lighthouse. Oh, it's going dark. What the fuck? There's an eclipse? Again? I feel like this is an awfully inconvenient time for an eclipse. Survivor, we see you. Yes. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. Oh, the humans! Descending towards the landing site. Where? Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Am I gonna get saved? Hold on. Over here. Over here, please. Say me, from this hell. Please. Nine, eight, hey. Oh my god. This is like the Marvel movie. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. This is like the Martian. It's coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Did I think I was actually going to get rescued? No. Did I dream for it in every fibre of my being? Yes. Frothing with disappointment, I decided to open the door into the strange alien tower. Do I really want to do this? If it's not on the ocean, and not like in the ocean, totally fine. No problem. Give me all sorts of robots and aliens to fight and I'm okay scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity no match is found in database performing structural analysis what the fuck is that I thought this was an ocean simulator why am I on an alien spaceship what the fuck is this as we explored this weird abode, we started to find some items that were definitely not natural. A control room. Okay, what the fuck is this Minecraft block? Ion cube. This is RTX Minecraft now. High capacity alien. Oh, can we use that to power something? Delving deeper into the labyrinth, we found some more weird structures and things we could interact with. There's no oceans. No sea creatures. It's nice and bright. This is great. Why can't I pay? Oh, no, 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 no. What the? F
What? Okay, now I can see the bottom. That's okay. I don't want to go in there if I can help it. Or, my, or do I need to go in there? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Wait a minute, that looks like a fucking docking bay. For like a massive ship thing, doesn't it? As this place seemed relatively safe, we continued our journey inwards to see what else we could discover. What the fuck is that? Alien rifle. Please let me have it. So, it's not a blueprint. I don't get an alien rifle. What? Oh, scan. Alien arch. Hmm. So, this does nothing? Weird. Alien rifle. We've got the ion cube. Oh, wait. Have we been up here? No, I don't think we have. Look, purple glow. Another, ta another tablet? Wait, if I take this off, is the whole place going to shut down? Nope. Uh, that looks like the thing from Destiny. The thing that follows you around. Doomsday device! Scans indicate this device contains enough of potential energy, energy to destroy the entire planet. Along with most of the solar system. Fortunately, it's malfunctioned. Fuck. I presume this works the same way as the other one? I don't know if I want to go. I don't get that. What? This is fucking weird. I'm get. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh. Friendly? Int. Just touch it then? Oh shit! Twat! The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads Warning Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. So this is how to turn the weapon off, but I can't do it because I'm in fit. In this planet. background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. What the fuck is going on? Disease research facility. Thermal power facility. Right. So I'm guessing within the storyline for this game, I need to somehow find a way to not be infected and then come back here, 69 meters, nice, and then disable the weapon. Hmm. It was clear that there was a lot more than meets the eye with this world. So we decided to head back to the Seamoth and take a quick look around the island before heading back home. Oh, wait, hold up. Hold up, before we do that, there was a cave in here, wasn't there? 
Or is a big ass, big ass cave, big ass cave. Here we are. See, caves don't scare me. It's a little bit like in Sons of the Forest. But that's a lie. The caves fucking terrified me. Insert editing, Ben. Insert clip of me getting jump scared in a cave. Oh, for fuck's sake. Here you go. Boy, what the fuck is that? It's completely unnecessary, whatever that noise is. However, they're not as scary as the ocean. Oh. What was that? Lithium! Oh! We searched for that for fucking ages! We, we... Oh, yes! We need the lithium for the pla- The materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Yes! Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Oh! Shit! And at last, it was time to make the journey home. Now my pardon for getting home. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, you twat! Oh! Just... I can't... That is fucking revolting! Oh my god, shit! So fucking deep! Oh my. If something comes up here now. What's that noise? No. What's that underneath me? What's the actual? Oh, 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 it's plants. Okay, wait, are we where I think I am? No, don't get cocky, don't get cocky, don't get cocky, don't get cocky. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine, I think. I don't, oh, yes. Sweet Jesus of Nazareth. Now we were back home, it was time to start some crafting. And first up, the laser cutter. Okay, here we go. Laser cutter, two diamonds, battery, sulfur. Oh. Nice. What happens if it runs out of batteries? It's like, is it, I just had batteries into it? But fl flare. Okay. But the thing that I'm really excited about is this plasteel ingot. So we, uh, we're going to need a titanium ingot here. I hope it's just one of these. I hope it's just one. I think it is. If we can get the large room, I feel fucking safe. Okay. Safe. Right. So we'll get the habitat builder. Oh, <laughs> we need two. With everything that we'd set out to do and we had done, we still didn't have a home. There couldn't just be one more lithium. One more lithium there. Now I've got two options here. I go back all the way to that mountain. <laughs> Over the really deep bit of the ocean. Oh, and hope that maybe some of the shale outcrops respawn, or... <laughs> we go into the jelly shroom cave. For one lithium. I just want to build my house. Troops, just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all the love that you showed me on the first video. It has been... By like a country fucking mile the most successful video I've had in terms of growth on the channel um I hate that you guys are loving the subnautica content of course the one thing that has to give me momentum <laughs> has to be basically people abusing me of my phobia but you know what it's totally okay I really really do appreciate it if you watch the video if you've liked it yeah you've subscribed it's been awesome to see this community grow as fast as it's growing currently but guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bosh! Click.